trouble me, guy looks. You trouble me, man. Holy f fuck! The Northern Realmers are the same as ever. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Witcher Three. I am Dimsy or Fugsy or whatever you want to call me. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be the last episode. This is gonna be the episode that's gonna lead us to the Skellig Isles. This this time, I promise it. This isn't uh, me just saying that. I'm being completely and utterly serious about that. You trouble me, Greylux. Before we get to Skellig, we have to complete three quests, however. Starting with doing Roach a favor. What's up, Roach? Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. You know it, man. What do you do here, Hunt Squirtel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Squirtel anymore? Temeria, that's what matters. Hmm. Interesting, I've already asked this, but it's not grayed out. Huh. Uh, alright. You have a problem. What's up? Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vesco go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Yeah, no, I never really took Roach for an idealist. He's more of a pragmatic dude. He sees the world in one color. <laughs> the color blue, but... You know, anything that, uh, you know, makes that shade of blue any brighter, he'll take that course of action. Hmm. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, no, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. You got, you got it, man. I got you back. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Just what our band of merry men needed. Oh, your band of merry men definitely, definitely needs me. Um. All right, so we're off to the Hanged Man's Tree. That's uh, that's the place where we arrived in now, uh, in Velen in the first place the when after we had right? uh, been to Vizima. It's true you kill kings. You and Seems Arthur like Arthur. the hangman's tree is a popular meeting spot. But yeah, Roach... Um, Roach is one pragmatic son of a bitch. I mean, yeah, he does love Temeria, but... The concept of Temeria is... Uh, I don't know, almost feels like an excuse for him to just... Vent out all that pent-up aggression.
cozy spot you've picked. <laughs> oh man. All right, there we there we have uh, Mulberry Dale. What a calm, beautiful day, and yet a lot of fighting is gonna take place in just a short moment. It's the village below, black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the... Set to the black ones! At me, Sirka! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. What? What, what the hell, man? You lost your mind for that there for a second. Lead the way, Roach. I got you. Oh ho! Whoa! Oh, they're hiding behind the bushes, <laughs> or these like flower beds. What? That guy's just... What? Lost your nerve? That is just happily hammering away. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh. That spear. That range on that spear. Oh my god. He exploded. Holy shit. Whoa, this is gonna die. Whoa, 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 this is gonna die. Whoa, those hoverdeers are, uh... Oh my god, they're kicking ass. Although, this has been saved, so I'm... God, the range, I'm so scared. Son of a... Oh my god, Carol. You wonderful son of a bitch. Whoa, what's hitting me? Whoa! What? There's nothing here. Oh, this can't die. Okay, I just noticed that. What? The North Guardian officer isn't dead. Uh, his body's on the ground, but I guess... Okay. That glitch. Where is he? Uh, okay, he hit me once. There we go, oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, Vess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission. And instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking... Join the sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out. Ren. <coughs> One left. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. I let him live. On my first playthrough, and uh, I don't know, killing him. Mm. I 
he's a soldier, he will be ordered to come back here and slaughter everybody. Uh, for some reason, I'm just compelled to show mercy. Roach is right. Besides killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. Oh, you. An eye for an eye, almost. Well, I mean, you know, if we had killed that last guy. Is there a Kenyan powder? I wonder what the, uh, what the officer dropped. Where is the officer? Oh no, the, we let the officer live. Oh. Well, actually, here, here. Usually, these guys wearing this kind of heavy armor with the winged helmets, usually they are the officers, but. Eh. No, I could be wrong, I guess. If a man. Ah. Okay, I don't understand how this makes any sense. I get no, no, okay. The guy who dropped the Temerian Special Forces insignia was probably a Temerian soldier. Or maybe even a Blue Stripes commander. Okay, for a second there I thought, why on earth would these... I mean, they could have killed a couple of Temerians and stripped them off their bodies, I guess. And worn them like a... Eh, I don't know, like a... Some kind of trophy. Kind of like when, you know, some like... Tribes people would sometimes wear, you know, a necklace uh, adorned with like teeth from animals they killed. <laughs> and uh, here are the uh, <laughs> the the, the Nilfgaardians again. Like, Yo, I'm just passing by. Don't mind me. Um, there is a travel sign here in this little village. Oops, I passed it. My bad. All right, we're done with this one. Now we are doing. Ah, no, ah, this one. Excellent, hey, excellent. All right. Slowly but surely, we're moving up in the world. <laughs> uh, Hyrox gear, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh man, last episode before I. Travel to the Skellig Isles. I can't wait. I especially can't wait to get to Kermoran, because that's where we get our. Uh... Oh wait a minute. Hold on, I just remembered. Uh, the conditions have changed for the city. Uh, Gate of the Hier yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the Gate of the Hier Hierarch. After. Um... Hmm. She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. It's Camelot uh, and Goldwind. She broke teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. Drew make a note. Her father tested. Potions? Are you mad? Yeah, the conditions for the city have changed. Um, I think the, the the trigger for this for this uh, for this world event, like change or like you know, the atmosphere and uh, conditions in the city to change. I think the trigger for that was uh, us kind of helping Albert escape the Vigilbud est estate. And uh, yeah, basically the sorceress and sorceresses of the city are gonna. I guess just elope away into Kovir, and uh, that means that the Church of, Church of the Eternal Fire has to pick on some other people now. Non humans. Ever heard the legends of the White Wolf? Looks like they've uh, set up checkpoints now. 
stopping people who are different. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Yeah, you, you're a charming man. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're... Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Thanks, Roach. <laughs> to whom it may concern, let it be known that the bearer of the present document may enter and leave the free city of Novigrad at will, both during the day and at night, and shall for no reason be per perturbed, harmed, harassed, or molested in any way. His Holiness, Hierarch Hemelfart. Uh, the guy who gave us the, uh, the letter of safe conduct. Uh... <laughs> That was Vo Roach's voice actor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, looks like... Uh... Oh man. The chameleon. Hey, Zoltan. No, he doesn't have anything to say. Oh man, the Novigrad is really turning into a uh, kind of police state, <laughs> a sort of uh, kind of dictatorship where uh, people need to show their passes, <laughs> which reminds me of a uh, of a certain fascist uh, <laughs> country in the 30s and 40s. But it looks like the hunt for mages is gonna end soon because there will be no more images and not because they're gonna hunt them down and kill them all but because they're going to escape the city in just a short while but that's unfortunate news for the non-humans of the of the city and of the surrounding areas mm. I wish there was something we could do to help them this game doesn't really have a, have a focus on the non-humans. Rather, it doesn't like show us any insight into their lives and it doesn't like directly address it in a quest or anything. Which is kind of sad. I, I, I miss having, you know, a non-human element in, in my Witcher games, man. We had one in the second game, in the first game, but... Uh, yeah, not much in third. But that's okay, you know, mixing up the formula, that's only a good thing. Um, that's alright. But I do miss having an elf to talk to now and then. A badass elf. Hmm? Hmm? I'm here about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the law, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Huh. Okay. Let's talk about my pay first. I know what my services are worth. Let's see if we can push with 300. I doubt it, but... Alright. I believe I can pay you that. Holy Provided, shit. of course, that you do well. We'll do exceptionally. Don't you worry about us. Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them, 
Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. That was kind of suspicious. Of course you'll pay me. Why Why the need to, like, re repeat that part? <laughs> Alright. We know where to go. Excellent. Then let's head off towards the... Uh, I guess there's a medic by the, by the harbor. You know, Novikrat doesn't look really cool at night, but I still prefer it during the day. <laughs> but it is cool to see all these, you know, brazzers and kind of the light shining through, like, the windows. Uh, damn, they did a really good job capturing the atmosphere and just the tone of the city, of a large city in the medieval times at night. Not that I would know, you know, how a city in the medieval days looked like. Um, but you know, here in Sweden we have quite old, like cities that have quite old buildings, so, you know, you kind of get immersed somewhat in the, uh, in the kind of, <laughs> the landscape of uh, bygone eras. Let's see here, where would this medic be? In one of these huts down here? The medic should be... Should look like one of those witch... Not, not witch doctors, but... Uh, like a plague doctor. He should be wearing a mask and everything. Is this him? You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. Mm hmm. This is interesting. Looks like it may not be a monster or a beast, but rather could be just a human. Yeah, considering that uh, non humans are being targeted, could be maybe an elf. No, oh, okay. I know where that is. Let's double time over there. Holy shit, the physics, man. Look at this. The wind is actually blowing this uh, little crane <laughs> apparatus to the side. Holy fuck. This game is just beyond mesmerizingly awesome. What the hell is going on here? Recruitments for the Redanian slash witch hunters? Like Redanian army slash witch hunters. Witch hunters of the eternal fire, I guess I should be more specific. Man, seeing the uh, the harbor lit up like this is pretty cool. Usually I just meditate until the morning. Just so I can kind of enjoy the the morning sun. 
people, help me! What? Bodies were found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual. I will whoa, kill whoa. you. I what? Alive. Alive. Whoa. Oh, hold on, what just happened? Why did... Did I mess something up? Why did... I... I... Oh, okay. <laughs> Hot nailed guards boots. Unimportant. Wait, why... He just respawned. What? Can, can I fight these guys? I can. Let's do this quick. Quick. How long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, oh, wait, stop, stop for one second here. Where where was the checkpoint? Okay, there. <laughs> let me let me just redo this entire thing. What? But finding me proved no simple task. Okay, so I can kill those which what the hell what the hell is going on? <laughs> what? Okay, um the temple guard. With the help of our uh, friends, Geralt managed to free. Holy shit. Um, indeed, I knew what had happened to Siri. Okay, so I have At to kill those witch no hunters, which I have nothing against. I I always take... Oh, I know. I don't want to sound like, you know, a psychopath or anything, but I take Where to? quite a great deal of pleasure in killing those witch hunters. I don't have exactly... <laughs> I'm not exactly fond of them. What the hell was that? What is he? What? And the guy was respawning? What the? Oh man, okay. Well, hey. What? What? I, sorry, I'm just in shock. I'm. I did hear him scream for help, but I just. I don't know, I figured that maybe. It was a merchant, maybe, or something. I, I have no idea. People, help me! Bodies were found here. Pretty boy, Gotta help look for okay. clues. Anything unusual? Let's do this quick. Quick. Burn it, hide it, whichever. Just don't get caught. Wait, what? Did he give me the key? I hope he did. Warrant. Wanted. Three bandits in position of magic contraband. Uh huh. Objects are dangerous, banned to be destroyed immediately. Lucy, known as the Fox, hiding on Temple Isle near the bridge. Fritz, hiding near the Crooked House. Walter, last seen in the Lace Halls, near the Putrid Grove. Bandits are to be apprehended, or if they resist, killed where they stand. Holy crap, a new, new quest. <laughs> Reut. No, not another quest before we leave for Noble Skeleton, god damn it. Let's expect. Ex just, let's just inspect these footprints for now. Hobnailed guards' boots. Unimportant. And child's footprints. Damn, lots of foot traffic. Hoofprints, clearly. A horse? Hmm. No horse I know walks on two legs. Aha. Uh -huh. But we know what uh, what has horses' feet, or you know that shape at least, <laughs> and walks on two legs. A succubi, or a succubus. Milady. All points to crippled Kate's. Empty perfume vial. 
expensive. Neighborhood's a bit shabby for this. The way he mentioned crippled Kate's made it sound like we were supposed to go inside, but nope. Just follow the smell of perfume. I'm so mm, wet. Uh, well, it is raining. Oh, I see you. The reapers come for me. Cost you double in the rain. Cost you double in the rain. Hmm. Sounds like a uh, context-sensitive line right there. <laughs> this is it. Hmm. That's not normal. in the house that one I believe so forgive me I must rest charmed by a succubus gotta get in that house see what's inside aha uh -huh. we have to find another way into this house it seems like but yeah, succubus, uh, they, uh, well, they sustain themselves by getting intimate with people, at which point they kind of suck out the life force of their partners. They don't kill their, uh, well, <laughs> their accomplices, <laughs> their partners, but um, they do leave them quite weak for a while. What's this one doing here? Uh, sorry. It's stupid. Can you see he's a witcher? Lightly tracking some beast. Give a copper. <laughs> Good eyes, but no, sorry, no copper for you. Spare a copper or two. No, a fall from this height is uh, sure to kill me, and we can kind of see inside here. Although we can't see her. This Salma. Lady. Succupi are, they can be really dangerous, but for the most part, they are peaceful as hell. All they want to do is just, uh, you know, have some fun, and <laughs> that's about it. Mm -mm -mm. Quite a romantic place. Cozy. Aha. Miss? Who are you? Never heard of witchers. Oh. Have you come to kill me? Uh, no, we're not here to kill you. Don't know. Want to talk first? Why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. You gotta leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Holy crap. She gave us a sword. <laughs> Damn, lady. 
And uh, yeah, I really like that little detail. We, we just told her to leave the city so we don't have to kill the lady. Hey, she acted in self-defense. Hey, I understand completely. We do that all the time. <laughs> Um, but what's interesting is that her temper kind of flared. Hmm, it's almost as if, uh... Her short temper gets her in quite a lot of trouble, but, uh, hey, who knows, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Meh. Cool against sword and all, but... Not better than the one we have right now. Alright, so hopefully she gave us some kind of... Uh, something that will convince the guard of uh, of our, you know, mission success. That we actually did the job. Looks like a win-win for everybody here. Man, what a day. What a what such such hauntingly pretty weather. What? Oh, a, <laughs> for a second there I was like, what the hell is lying on the floor? Hey. Looks like it's just a beggar. But yeah, Salma, the succubus. Looks like she got caught doing what she does best. And now she has to leave the city. Poor girl. Hmm? Guards were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward. As promised. Farewell. Wow. 300 crowns. Woo! Crazy. Now, if you would, like, consider... Or, you know, if you would want to kill the succubus, you would get the succubus uh, mutagen. Which allows you to create a couple of... No, at least one decoction. No, only one decoction. That I know. Of. But uh, 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 no, no. Why, why, why would you kill her? No, goddamn it. But yeah, I really like that little detail there at the end there. Oh man, the chameleon. So cool. But yeah, I really like that detail at the end there when uh, she kind of flared up for a second and became quite ir irritated with us. Even though, you know, it's not her fault, goddammit. <laughs> she got herself in that mess and... Well, no, actually, she was probably ambushed by some witch hunters or... I guess city guardsmen, really. And at that point, what can a person do other than fight back? But yeah. Alright, so that's that then. And now... Finally, the last quest for the day. We are going to help Triss evacuate every single mage in the city. I always behave, goddammit. Oh, speaking of which, um, let me just see one, check one thing. Okay, cool, cool, and. Uh, uh, what was it gonna... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, everything is in order. Are the thugs there? Yep, they are. Gonna kill you. Not if I kill you first. What? Lost your nerve? Oh, my dear lord. You know, there's really not much of a point in killing these guys, but I just like to do it because why not? You know, easy kills, 
We get some money, get some food. Meh. Guardsmen outside Trace's house. Not good. Maybe he lied. He lied when I cut off his first finger. They all grow very honest after a second. The ginger bitch hides behind her witchcraft. But we'll find her. Matter of time. Got my eye on you, white one. Holy shit. Looks like they're cracking down. On residents. Holy fuck. Are you serious? Can't I, like, lure them away? What's going on here? Fungus in the city. We're scrubbing it clean. Why are you wincing that mug like you stepped barefoot and done? Mind your manners. <laughs> Mind though. <laughs> Be glad we didn't smash your snout, mutt. Wait, grab him. I'll teach him his place. After you. Oh my dear god, that was so satisfying. Ah! <laughs> That's perfect timing. This guy comes around and just goes. That's bad luck. It's not so much luck. I'm just that good. Gerald, you're the man. Holy shit. Usually there's people nagging Murder. me. Everyone saw it. They came for me and for you. Ooh. Looks like the, there's a row going on. You daft! Wanna get us killed? What's the problem? Slaughters a hunter at our doorstep and then asks what the problem is. Plowing mutant. We can hide the corpse. The old street saw what happened. The guards will come. Turn us in. Calm down. We've put you at risk, true, but we'll make it up to you. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Oh, man. Um... Hands off or I'll cut them off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. That's true, but... Uh, mm, uh, y yes, okay, yeah, but the necklace, couldn't they just uh, ask for money or anything else? I was worried about you. City's crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail, but the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner. All in one night. Then they started searching the city, street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave him behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me, but I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. That tree in the part background is so distracting. 
could find getting to the port a problem. Bertold and Denise. Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? Goddamn. This is one of the harder choices in the game. We should... Really, it should be, you know, Anise's and Bertol's fault for not sticking with the plan and meeting up with us, but, um... God damn, we know what happens to people who remain in the city and, you know, be being locked up is one thing, but what the witch hunters and the Church of, Church of the Eternal Fire has in store for them? Well, let let's see if we can help them. Fuck it. Um, oh man, this is dangerous. We should help Anise and Bertold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine, but then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. Where's this hideout? Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. The good point. I won't. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Also, sorry to the people who live here. I could have just paid them. They didn't. They, a necklace? Really? No. I. I had money. God damn it. Half moon is out. There's thunder in the air. A patrol. We can't let them see us. God damn. Said, Damn it. Sorcerer you that? Whore. She's into Some the witchcraft too. Good work. Check him. No, I beg you. We've done nothing wrong. Right. Hear that several times a day. What? Uh, what about my reward? Reward? Marigold. I'm the witcher. Planned on two fires. Now we'll have four. Yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. But all. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. I can't guarantee you'll be safe if you come with us. But if you stay here, you will definitely die. He's right. We'll hide somewhere. Wait it out. Darling, I beg you. Shut up! I told you last winter we should leave, but no, that didn't suit you. Well, here's your comeuppance. Why isn't there an option to fist fight this guy? <laughs> of all the guys, of all the people that I would would love to fight, it's this guy. We're on the clock. Shut up and let's go. We're going now. Go going. Thanks. We need to join the others soon as possible let's go whoa 
Looks like these guys were ratted out by, uh, by these two. How much they pay you for them? Please, sir, mercy. How much? A bushel of grain? A barrel of herrings? Leave him be. I talked him into calling the guard. They would have found him anyways, then they'd have burned us all. Get out of here, or you'll burn anyway. But, how's that? Guardsmen will decide this was an ambush. You know the penalty for that. But, this is our home. We can't just... Do what you want. Let's go, Triss. Stop. Hear it? There, two more. Grab have you checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. I want another one of those pamphlets. Ramping up the fanaticism. That's what we love to see. Yo, Berthold, Anise. Ugh. Wait, stop. Where are those fucking idiots? That's Berthold. There's Anise. I'm pretty sure that you don't have to wait for them, but fuck it. Let's just, let's just make sure that everything goes right. There's the Kingfisher. No guardsmen or hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Oh, for the love of God. Triss, I love you, but goddammit. <laughs> sure you will. What? what? Man, sometimes the soft targeting just... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Damn it. We took too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch, grabbed the others. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. Looks like if we go and uh, save Anise and Berthold, the tavern, or I guess the innkeep, dies. Which, if you fail to play him for the Gwent cards, I guess you lose out on that card forever. On, uh... Egebrecht. No, wait, is that his name? I don't remember. I don't remember. Holy shit. But yeah, one of the uh, hero cards for the Northgardian faction. This way, Geralt. Tris, what happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. You fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set up. 
you know me. Bleeding heart. <laughs> it only start bleeding now? They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir, especially among King Tancred's entourage. <laughs> Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake begging for mercy. You know, it's funny, can't these guys just create a massive giant portal and just fuck off over to Kovir? Or can't they just make, you know, portals every like 10 kilometers and just like inch their way to Kovir? Like what's the problem here? What, what is, what's preventing them from just portaling their way over there? Portaling their way, that's a... I just invented a new ver verb there. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, Radovid's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. I'm gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail. And don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I swear, I'll drop magic for good. If I can only bloody get out alive. You can't, you won't. You've got Radovid and the church against you. They want magic to vanish. Us along with it. Damn. There are a lot of them here. Good luck. Man. <laughs> Triss is, uh... <laughs> Triss is in, uh... In no mood for our... Thanks for helping. No need to thank me. Really. No, there is. You don't know how much it means to have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. It'll be over soon. Hmm. Soon. Yeah, she's, uh, the pressure is getting to her. <laughs> and, hey, I sympathize. I understand completely. What now, you piece of a Whoa, 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 hey, hold on. What happened to my Quen? <laughs> Triss, let's go. Tr tr Triss? God damn it, woman, let's go. Chop, chop, whoop. Oh shit. Oh my god. Soft targeting works for fucking art, but uh. rent? Nah. Whoa, whoa, wow, okay. Triss just exploded that. that necrophage. That drowner, goddamn. Don't fuck with Triss. Mm, some of that good shit. Let's go. Hmm. 
library. Oh, oh. An underground library. I wonder if there are any books here that I haven't read. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I really just want to read read the books that uh, unlock bestiary updates or updates the bestiary. <laughs> How the hell is there a door in here? Look, Gonzalo de Verseo's poems, Jacob of Veraz's chronicles. It's incredible. Rare, first editions only. We'll come back for them later. No, we won't. I leave Novigrad today, remember? I remember. Just having a hard time coming to grips with it. Come on, we should hurry. Triss, found an exit. Oh, there's the other one. I thought I heard another one. Okay. Okay, never never mind. Fight. <laughs> what the hell? I I don't Right. Rend works now, but Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck it. Let's just let's just move on. Triss? Stop. Hear that? What is it? Rats. Oh my speciality, remember? You've got nothing to fear. Depends how many there are. Rat catcher Triss, huh? Alright, let's make our way down. Probably have to igni our way through the rats. Sounds like a horde. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, are you serious? Did they just... That's a ridiculous amount of damage they're doing. What? Fuck that. Holy crap. Each and every one of them does 200 damage? Oh god, this is... Triss, some help would be nice. No? Oh my god. Hum mm. <laughs> This is this is ridiculous. This is <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And they're so small too and I can barely see them and there's so many of them. Hold on. Okay, I, I equipped it. What what just happened? Really? Why does every rat take m multiple hit? Oh my god. Multiple hits. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is this is. Oh my god. No, I know if I fall down, I'm probably gonna die. Because we all. Mm -hmm. Did I did I do it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, not the flowers. <laughs> oh my god. This is. Uh... This is this is one of the more annoying parts of uh, of the game. I had suppressed this. I I completely had forgotten about this part. Holy shit! Jokey or, or joke? Master Varisis asked for after his coin for the first and last time. Either repay it all with interest tomorrow or learn exactly why Master Varisis is called the Cleaver. Ollie. Hmm, looks like we found out the fate of one of uh, one of Cleaver's victims. <laughs> Tris, come on, what? Oh, okay, her, her AI is fucked. I guess it's the right way to go then. Hopefully, um. Hopefully, um. Tris will just pop up now. Tr Tris. Okay. <laughs> Do, do I go back and get her? I don't. I don't. Whoa, a red body. Body's pale. Dry it out. I was hoping for a bit more info there. Like, what the hell could have done that? But uh. Hmm. More drowners. Tris, any, any moment now, any minute now. Come on, you you can do it. You can find your way here. Fuck it, fuck it. All right. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Guess he just now realized that. Holy shit! I'm supposed to fight. My God, the dismemberment. Whew. Love it. The the the, the dismemberment feature is. Uh, it is very much a welcome feature. <laughs> oh, this looks like the wrong path. Unless Triss is supposed to do something here, but now... Looks like we're supposed to fo follow the light sources, the torches. That means that this is locked. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm going back for Triss. This is this is insane. For two reasons, I'm scared that maybe um, the quest won't trigger, and then I have to run back all the way back and get her. I don't think that's the case. But the second part is just maybe they they're gonna talk on the way there, and I don't want to miss out on any dialogue. So I am running back. Um Yeah, okay. That that's great, Tris. Well? No, I I'm the one who's supposed to say well. God damn it, Tris. Come on. Are you following me or am I following you? I don't get this. Come on. I've cleared the way. All we need to do Tr 
Triss, they're dead. I, I killed them all. Triss. Well? There we go. Let's go. Triss. Triss, come on. Hurry. Come on. I guess, I guess if, if we had Triss with us. Lovely. No wonder there were so many rats. Who's tossing all these corpses down here? We're right under the main square, next to Carlo the Cleaver Varessa's headquarters. Can't be a coincidence. His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find the way to the port first. Yeah, we, we're not supposed to go up there. Okay. You, you want me to go check? Alright, fine. Alright, there's nothing up here. Let's go. Come on, Triss. Triss. Hey, Triss. Triss? Well? No, Triss. Don't do this to me. Come on. Let's move. Triss. Triss. Triss? Tr is it because I killed him? Is that it? Well? Tr is there something that I can, like, inspect? No, nothing. Nothing to trigger her to just move on? Triss. Please, Triss. You know what? I... No, I'm not doing this anymore. Fuck this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Please be the end of this fucking... Lantern still lit. Died recently. From bites to the neck. Ooh, a catacan. Perhaps an Ekimara. Whatever it is. Could it be a vampire? This is a pretty large and spacious uh, sewer. I was expecting a fight here, but nope, nothing here. All right. And Triss decided to join me. That's a catacan. A what? A vampire. Watch out for its venom. I shouldn't change up my oil, but I'm too lazy for that right now. You know, now that I think about it, they had that, uh, they gave us the opportunity to um, inspect that beggar's body upstairs, um, or up a couple of levels, who was uh, drained of all his blood, and we could also inspect that witch hunter's body, whose uh, lantern was still lit, and that was supposed to clue us in that we were gonna fight a, a vampire, and that was supposed to, like, prompt the, uh, the player to prepare to use the right oils and potions and everything. That's actually really cool. That's a really clever way of doing that. Seagulls! Hear them? We made it! Come on. We need to ready the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. Damn, that was some looty shit. We did it, Triss. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Woods rotty. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Please turn that fire off. <laughs> any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. 
Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! Keep it together, legs! Not often you get to use uh, whirlwind that long. <laughs> Deekstra, I don't know how to. No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me and what we had together. Oh my God, the moment of truth, huh? Oh my god. 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 Stay with me. Carol, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold, we got a sale. Please. We had our chance. But let it go. I love you. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? About you and... <laughs> Dijkstra. I love him so much. He's such a cool character. I guess he's talking about Philippa. <laughs> Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philippa Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet, they make you look slimmer, you know, and I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. You know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said, Gerald, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Trace, I thought... So did I, but I changed my mind. Thank you, I'm grateful. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way. Extra, you <laughs> They're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimors, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. This how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore, waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. 
Well, they say Kavir is lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. I don't know. Kavir seems so far away. End of the world, really. Hmm. Maybe you're right. So how do you envision our future? I'll be Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You'll be High Priestess of Melitale. We'll live happily ever after, a horde of kids around us. Oh no, won't get out of it that easy. I asked you a serious question. Where do you see us in, let's say, five years? This is how I see it. We're living in a small town, where everybody knows everybody else. You've got your practice, brewing potions, that sort of thing. And what are you doing? Running around swamps, killing drowners? No. I'm sitting on the porch in a rocking chair, smoking my pipe, listening to the clink of your vials as you work inside. That simple? Mm-hmm. That simple. I missed this Geralt, you know? Meaning? Not a Geralt who's not afraid to open up to me, tell me what he really feels, what he wants. What I want? <laughs> One more thing. Shh. I know. Look, they're signaling us. It's a message. H L A K B R Hal Lakba. It makes no sense. It's code. What did you expect? <laughs> Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, gentlemen. <laughs> And for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes, somewhere over hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them, though you might want to, badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Caremorn. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too. Men 
Ocean's fragrance, acrid sweat, and chestnut balm for aching joints. Dijkstra. Ah, those witches' senses. Can't hide a damn thing from you lot. Same seems to be true for you. Will you ever leave me alone? Someday, sure. Once I no longer need you. <laughs> oh god. I, 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 the, if there was like a mini series or like a Telltale game series where you play this Dijkstra, that's an instant pre-order for me. I, I, I just can't get enough of this character. <laughs> Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who saved those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Karaig, Gullet? You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. Holy shit. Man. Any business with Dijkstra is serious business. He doesn't fuck around. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father. Was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania. Made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I would love an option. Heck yes, man. <laughs> that was a fucking moving speech. We should be able to like comment on that at least, but no. I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. God. Damn. God damn the writing. 
Oh, all right. What's up with the? <laughs> Why did it? Why? <laughs> okay, I guess uh, fuck is gloves and boots. <laughs> oh, a deadly plot. Let me see the level. What? <laughs> What's with all of these goddamn low-level quests popping up all the time? Oh my god, what do I do now? No, I wanted to go to Skellig. <laughs> oh god damn it. No, but I'll go to Skellig in the next episode. Uh, I, I've already decided, god damn it. I want to go to Skellig so bad. Oh, but Dijkstra, man, that was such a well-written dialogue. Or monologue, I guess. And man, he, he can move mountains with that speech, holy shit. He's con he, he didn't even have to say like a tenth of that, but he's convinced me, no doubt. We'll help you, Dijkstra. No, you don't even have to doubt that. But yeah, oof. This has been a kind of a long episode, but at least we've done everything I've wanted to do in this episode, goddammit. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next one, where we will travel to the Skellige Isles, finally. Later, everybody.